All right, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be starting the matrix algebra section of linear algebra. So I just wanna make a quick video kind of going over what a matrix is. If you've been watching other videos, then you will have seen augmented matrices. Um, but in general, a matrix is just a rectangular array of numbers. And we can kind of write one like this. So we often assign a capital letter to represent the matrix that we're talking about. In this case, we would be calling this kind of general matrix, um, just the capital letter A. And then you see here, we just have all of the entries or all of the elements would be each number that's in the rectangular array of numbers. And then we give them usually subscripts. Um, so we have a I, J. So this first subscript refers to the row number and the second subscript refers to the column number. So this would be row one, column one, row one, column two, and then row one, column N. And then, so we basically have N row, or sorry, N columns and M rows. Let's write that. So basically when we talk about the size of matrices, we often say that they are M by N. So this M is rows and N is columns. So if we look at some of the other entries, then this entry would be the second row and the first column, second row, second column. And then basically, if we come down to the very far bottom right entry, we would have the mth row and the nth column. So there's a couple standard uh, situations that we're going to run into with certain types of matrices. So if we have a matrix that has the same number of rows as it does columns, and then the entries are just anything. So let's say we have a three by three matrix. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So these are all of the entries. There's nine entries. It is a three by three matrix. Um, if the number of rows and the number of columns is the same, then we call this a square matrix. Now, if we have a square matrix where all of the leading entries are numbers um, and everything else is a zero like this, so if we had a three by three, something like that, uh, then we, we the, the name that we give this is we call this a diagonal matrix. And this will be showing up in future videos when we talk about a diagonal matrix. It's just like this where we have numbers along the main diagonal and everything else being zeros. Um, if we have a square matrix that all of the diagonal numbers are the same, and everything else is zeros, like this. Um, they don't necessarily have to be twos, they just have to all be the same, like they could all be threes or they could all be hundreds, whatever you want. Um, then we refer to this as a scalar matrix. And in a unique case where we have a, all of the diagonals being equal to one and every other value being zeros, uh, then we call this the identity matrix. So those are just some definitions that you're going to be seeing in future videos, and I just wanted to get those out of the way. But when we're talking about matrices, if we have two matrices, for example, um, then we say that they're equal if they have the same size and all of their corresponding entries are the same. So you can imagine if we have matrix, um, let's say we have matrix B here, and it is equal to these letters A, B, C, and D. And then we have uh, matrix C. Let's say this is equal to one, two, three, four. Well, these matrices can potentially be equal to each other because they have the same size. They're both two by two matrices. And so we would say that B is equal to C if and only if, sometimes you put in that second F for if and only if, um, if A is equal to one, B is equal to two, C is equal to three, and D is equal to four. Now that should be pretty obvious as long as one A is equal to one, B is equal to two, C is equal to three, and D is equal to four, then these two would obviously be the exact same matrix. But if a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers, then that means that we could potentially have a matrix that has only one row or only one column. So if we had, let's say matrix, let's call it matrix D, and it is a one by and matrix, then it's going to look something like this where we have, you know, D1, D2, all the way up to Dn. And then if we have another matrix that is, let's call it matrix E, and it's a M by one matrix, so it has M rows and only one column, it would look something like this. So we would have, you know, the elements E1, E2, all the way down to E, M for however many rows there are. So let's say that, let's assign some numbers in here. Let's say that this is actually a one by three matrix and it's just one, two, three. And that this one is a three by one matrix. So it's just uh, one, two, three. And we'll assign 
the same element in basically for the first, second, and third element. But if we go to compare these to see if D, we want to ask, is D equal to E? Well, it has to be the same size, and all of the elements have to be exactly the same. But these aren't the same size because this one is a 1 by 3 matrix, and this one is a 3 by 1 matrix. So even though if you read them, basically if you read the elements as you see them, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, it would appear that they're the same, but because they don't actually have the exact same size, then D is not equal to E. And this is going to become important to us when we start using matrices to basically apply operations to vectors to, uh, to do certain things. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video is just some of the terminology about matrices just uh, and, and talking about the fact that they're M by N. Just kind of drill that into your head that it's rows by columns and then you're going to see that for example here this is a 1 by 3, this is a 3 by 1. Um, as long as you kind of have that vocabulary, then we'll be ready to move on and uh, get into all of the other types of matrix algebra that I want to talk about.